And away in Lou, they say, I don't know, like a good dog. How's it going, lads? Welcome to the live stream. In today's live stream, is there food around my mouth? That's embarrassing. Better. Uh, in this video, or live stream even, most of you watch it after the fact, so technically it's a video, I suppose. We're going to be making pegs. Now, if you look down there on the floor below me, the garage is very tidy. I had guests at the start of the week, so I had to have the place looking spick and span. Lucy, how are you? Lucy's chilling. She wants to get in on the action. Uh, but yeah, so I cleaned out the garage nice and tidy, and I had everything filed away. So it's time to dig out this pile of oak and uh, start shaping it back into back into pegs, just as God intended, huh? Right. How do I say my name? That would be pronounced like Owen. So like Owen, 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 as the teachers would shout. Right. Let me set you up there against a nice Guinness glass. And we'll see what we can do about answering a few questions. From the US, a lot of you seem to be from the US, all right, chat. It's great to have you all here. I was, Hello. attention, grabbing dog. Ow. I'll feed you in a minute, Lucy. We have important things to be doing here, live streaming. Um, I had a notion to go to America at some point this year. I heard from a friend that um, tickets for flights return you can get them for like, um, what, 300 quid? So sure, that's, sit in a metal box and be carried to the other side of the planet, that's a good deal. Um, so yeah, that's something I've been thinking of a lot lately. Um, for maybe like a, a week or two, but I'd like to go with um, with a plan. So I'd have everything sorted, um, and I'd like to make videos there. There's a lot more hand tool activities and stuff happen over there that they like to keep their tradition alive not so much on this side of the pond um but yeah i think i'd like to travel around america a bit to be honest uh, which is a shame because it's so big so i probably have to pick like maybe two or three places and go to them but um i've got a lot of offers to be put up for a night if i ever go to the us you americans you're very um generous for just reaching out like that and going hey if you're ever in minnesota give me a whatever and uh we'll um We'll put you up for the night, so I will definitely be taking up some offers and probably begging. I will post a TikTok or a YouTube short asking um, all the Yanks to find it in the goodness of your hearts to put up an Irish man like me. Do you know what? That's too small a draw knife. We'll find a different one. Oh, the Amish. That, that'd be great. Um, yeah, I watch a lot of Amish videos just them raising barons and stuff. Where is my draw knife? There she is, hung up. Right over our noses. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. Oh, hello, Chloe, it's good to see you here. I haven't come in for my um, free tea yet, but uh, I'm out about the to town tonight in half an hour, so who knows if Costa serves, um, serves drunken men at um, the wee hours of the morning. I, I could be there. So one of the thing about nights out in Cork City, you just don't know where you'll end up. And once it's not the Garda station or the hospital you're doing well. Now the Garda station for all you watching is the police station. We just call them guards here in Ireland for some reason. The guards. Great, I'll be served. Isn't that illegal to serve people drunk? Um, Cause if you're drunk or not in like a sound state of mind to, um, enter into a contract, which is what you're doing every time you buy something, I think. But I'd say it happens the whole time in Ireland. And sure, look, we're all good actors here in Ireland anyway. We can put on a sober face. Who thought me woodworking? Yeah, sure, look, we're on YouTube, the, the biggest and best classroom that has ever existed. So there's nothing you can't really teach yourself, is there? This oak is kind of way more rotted than the rest of the oak, which is bad because it needs to be, um, yeah, it needs to be strong. Oh my goodness, we have a donation. Thank you very much. That is my um, drinking for tonight covered. <laughs> no, I'll, buy, I'll invest that in tools, don't worry. Um, PB, thank you very much. You left no comment, which is a shame. If you're, if you're donating money, leave a comment and I'll, I'll read it out. So look, I'll show you what I'm trying to make, because usually when I'm going live, I spend more time waffling than doing anything. Making these oak pegs. 
They're basically big wooden nails that hold big structures together. Um, you have to get a Guinness with that now. I'll be getting a Beamish. Best way to sharpen a wooden spoke shave. I'll show you. So you take your wooden spoke shave and you go, you batter it out. And you wiggle it out and then I'm not going to do it now because I'll be distracted but you grab your oil stone or whatever and you put it somewhere somewhat high like this maybe maybe flat not at an angle and then you just kind of go like and everyone's happy that is how you sharpen a wooden spoke shave there we go now <laughs> I'm using the wrong tool. I do have a shave horse, but it's harder to live stream. So I've been forced to use um, the vice. <laughs> now this is gonna be a... I, you're working tomorrow. Um, I will probably be leaving Cork City. I'm staying at a friend's house tonight, and then I'll um, drive on home as soon as the traffic wardens come to um, clamp me for illegally parking. So I'll try to get up before them. Um, but I do need to buy a square um, screwdriver. I'm working on a really rare plane at the minute. Um, so I need to sort that out. And it has an old type of screwdriver. So I'll be in town buying that, maybe. Um, I might pop in for my free cup of tea. We have a donation there again. Thank you very much, Alexis Davis. Davies. I hope I'm not pronouncing your name wrong. Get a snack too. I also get myself some red cedar to work with. It smells great. Let me, go, let, me let you guys in on a secret. I was working with cedar for the first time ever. Shingles. Um, see, this is why I never get anything done on the live streams. I'm going to run and pick up a torch and show you a birdhouse I made for my, um, my, my, yeah, a recent sponsorship I did that hasn't been released yet. Now, I can't release anything, any information, but I can show you what I made. Because <laughs> that was with, um, that was with maple, not maple, cedar. Right, do we have a torch? That one doesn't work. Hey, there we go. Hey, Luce, you coming? We're walking into the night there now. It was a dark and stormy night. Right, here she is. There's the garage. And this is the, um, I think I can turn the camera around. That'd be the best thing. There we go. So we made that bird box. And the gag was that I'd be using hand tools and the fella I was collaborating with was using power tools. Well, you'll never guess who got it done faster. But there we are. That's cedar. And as you can tell, the birds, well, they just love it. So that's, um, that's where we're at at the minute. I'll put away this torch now. And um, we head back out to the garage and get something done before we head away. And you know what? We'll feed you while we're at it. Oh, you were already fed. Go away. Ah yeah, don't be spamming. Man now. Ah, uh, cedar is just, um, I think it's an American wood. I don't know if it grows in, um, if it grows in Ireland or Europe even. Um, but I know this specific type of um, cedar, it's very suited to making shingles, which is great for um, roofing because it has a specific property that means it doesn't rot at any great speed. Best Irish band. Um, I was surfing this morning and uh, I couldn't get um, the N17 uh, out of my head. So I suppose the saw doctors at the minute. But um, no, I think it'll, I'll always go back to the Pogues. I think they're the best band to ever come out of Ireland. Mm -hmm, technically speaking. The English can lay their claim to them, but nah, they're Irish. What plane am I restoring? I'm glad you asked. Uh, I'll answer it there, but someone who donated it after asking the question, so I'll answer theirs. I'm from Texas. You live in a place they were tearing down some art Smelled like root beer and red cedar. It was honestly lovely. That sounds brilliant. I was in an abandoned building last night exploring and there was these massive pitch pine beams and I made made sure we all stopped and looked at and appreciated it, but Les didn't care. I was only giving out to for looking at them. Right, 
So this is a infill plane. So it's a metal bodied plane, but there's a bit of rosewood in it. And that's why it's called, it's infilled with wood. And that's why it's called an infill plane. And um, someone said, hi, can I post you a plane to restore it? It used to belong to my grandfather. And I was like, yep, yeah, grand. And they sent it to me. And I opened it, I was like, ooh, this is a Norris. See that? This is Norris. Came out of London. And it's pre-World War II, which means it's older and more valuable. Now, I cleaned up the body very carefully. I didn't use any sandpaper uh, because I don't want to devalue it. Um, and I didn't lap the sole either. I just cleaned it. Uh, but yeah, there's these very awkward screws. And see that? That's a square screw. So I need to come along and find a suitable set of screwdrivers to take this thing apart so I can finish the restoration. Um, I did try to make my own screwdriver, but I messed up the heat that was grinding and it came too hot and then the metal became soft. So... We'll figure something out. The biggest thing I've ever made was a 15 foot curragh, which is a traditional Irish seafaring craft. Thank you very much. We have another donation. D. Buckner says, you're going to Ireland next summer. Could we meet up if we are close? Well, I have good news for you. I'll be all over Ireland next summer doing my um, traditional woodwork demonstrations for all these fairs. So if you keep an ear to my Instagram or my TikTok, that's kind of where I post most of my, um, the events I'll be at in advance. Um, but also I th I'm, I've been thinking of, um, I, I, I always resented the idea of doing a vlog, but I think I could make an interesting couple of vlogs over summer. Uh, when I'm traveling around to all these fairs, because they're good crack. Basically, the whole town gets shut down. I say whole town, if you're from America, it's probably huge, but in Ireland, a town might be like 10,000 people, it would be a fairly decent sized town. The whole town would close down, they close the streets, and then um, for one or two days, it would fi it'd be filled with stalls of craftspeople, talking blacksmiths, coppersmiths, uh, leather workers, uh, boars, and the likes of myself doing woodworking. And uh, it's all about showing off the traditional ways things were done. Uh, where was I going with that? Uh, but yeah, I'll be doing a fortune of them this summer. So if you're around the place, um, come see me. But yeah, I remember where I was going with that now. Um, I think I can make an interesting vlog just um, showing off all these, um, the different people who are doing different types of um, crafts. I'm really not thriving in this minute. Sounds heavy. It's grave crack. I love it. Everyone in the town takes the day off work and they just they're drinking on the streets and stuff. It's brilliant. Hello, one brother or Ash. How are you keeping? Uh, I'm flying it. I went surfing this morning. I, uh, I hadn't posted, I hadn't made any new content in over a week. Um, and normally, I hate to admit it, if you're watching me on YouTube Shorts, you're getting it um, uh, weeks or months after I posted it on TikTok. Because um, YouTube Shorts only lets you post a minute long video. But anyway, that's aside the point. Um, and then I edit the TikToks down to make the short. But basically, um, I hadn't uploaded a TikTok in ages because, um, what you call it, I was, I've was i been busy. I had, a, I had a family funeral last week and um, yeah, so I couldn't really make any videos. And I posted one earlier and it's after getting 300,000 views in two hours. So there's always a nice buzz when the algorithm doesn't boot you for a lack of activity. Right, someone said something here now. Stephen Carroll said, I could make anything interesting. Keep up the great work, and thanks for letting us into your world. Well, thank you very much, Stephen. I appreciate your comment and your donation. Um, that's a comment I get a lot. Uh, people comment, you could read the phone book, and I'd listen. I reckon I should do it someday, just to prove everyone wrong. Because on YouTube, you can, um, you can like tell when people start to drop off. Also, I think it'll be like a massive violation of like, general data protection if I just start listing out people's phone numbers to the entire world. Well, 158 people all over the world at least. 
You're doing good. That's good to hear one, brother. You have loads of new tools and as such. Keeping yourself busy. Good man. Making some stools. Nice one. Um, yeah, thanks. Sorry for the loss. That's, uh, here, that's all part of life. Sure. We're all swirling around the drain one way or another. But thanks. I appreciate it. I am flying it today. Got a bit of surfing in in the morning, a bit of woodworking in the afternoon, and a bit of drinking now in the evening. Paradise, living the dream. Another donation. You guys are flying it today. Thank you very much. Nick um, Patalik says hello. Found your videos thanks to YouTube Shorts. Brilliant. I'm glad. Um, loving the craftsmanship, sir. Uh, from curiosity, what's your preferred whisk Irish whiskey and local wood? Okay, prefer Irish whiskey. Uh, I gotta say Jameson. I know it's a fairly generic answer, but um, I'm trying to get in there someday. Um, there's a fella. They still have a, a a Cooper. You know the fellas that work on the barrels. I don't think they make barrels, but they restore them and fix them to put them to use. So I'd love to check them out. And favorite local wood. It's gotta be ash, doesn't it? I never shut up about ash. Scroll through my shorts for like two videos and have an ash, have a clicker, and every time I say ash, take a shot, there's a fun drinking game for you. Have a take a shot of Jameson. Do, 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 do. This is some seriously tough oak. I'm going with the grain. Maybe it's that my tools aren't sharp enough. God forbid, don't tell anyone. Can I show us my tool? As in like my, my, my draw knife or something? Toolbox, I'll uh, it's not done yet. I'll give you a tour when it's done. We do celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, yeah, with the, I, a lot of the students that come over, that they'd be kind of, um, they, yeah, they really enjoy it. It is, it is like it's depicted. It's just drinking all day and then there's a big parade um, and then there's more drinking in the evening. Um, so yeah, I guess it does reinforce the negative stereotype that we're a bunch of alcoholics, but um, it is what it is. And it's, I suppose it's a celebration of all the Irish worldwide. I, unfortunately, won't get to engage in day drinking because I'll have to work. Um, but it's work I like. I'll be demonstrating woodwork. So if anyone's down in um, in Cork City by some chance and they would like to visit the Marina Market, I'll be there for four hours during the day doing my lovely woodworking. I didn't see much future when I left the Christian Brothers. Oh, lads, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't, this is... The other oak was so much easier to work with. I don't know what's after happened to this one. Did I leave it dry for too long? Oak is a lot easier to work with when it's wet. Maybe I should leave this soak for a while. What time are we at there now? Can I check the time? There we go, 18 past. I'll go live for another 10 minutes. I'd say St. Patrick Street's on O'Callaghan. Yeah, I, I hate Dublin. Well, I don't, I, I, I have to go there a lot for just because it's the capital of Ireland and if you're meeting brands and the likes of that. Um, but uh, yeah, I'd imagine uh, Oliver Plunkett Street is a sight to behold, all right. But I'm sure there'll be enough live streams of it all over the world. This is seriously stubborn. Who's that? There's a car, I have to pull him up to the house there now, I don't know who they are. Ah. Um, I play it stupid, instead of having a P.O. box, I just tell people my address, which is probably going to get me killed. Um, but um, yeah, uh, if you need to post me something, shoot me a message, and if I um, think you sound like someone who doesn't want to murder me. 
I'll just tell you my address and you can send anything on my way. It's the perfect excuse to drink. Yeah, good excuse to drink, I suppose. All the knuckleheads crowding in a bar. Yeah, that's kind of the... It, drinking is a bit overrated, I'll be honest, for, from an Irish man. Um, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but you wouldn't want to be doing it too much. Like, it's, it's famously terrible for you, isn't it? I think uh, I haven't been drinking since about 10 days now. So if I keep up that record, that's like three or four times a month. Surely that'll, that'll keep me in good health. People have excuses to drink. <laughs> Very good. How old are you? I am 21 years old. I don't think I'm going to do any actual work here. If I wasn't live, I probably would have had like easily two pegs made, made by now. Instead, I've turned one of these into one of these. So I'm going to just answer a few questions and then get ready to wet my whistle. Drunkest day in America, I believe it. Take my hat off. Absolutely not. I love... I'll probably take my hat off tonight when I'm about to town. I don't have young fellas running up to me, wrapping their arms around me like we're the best of buds. I'm watching the Super Bowl. No, I forgot it was on. I thought it was gas though. Did you? Did anyone see that? Um, the Breaking Bad revival thing, uh, where I don't know some potato chips or as we call them crisps here in Ireland, um, company uh, was hiring um, the Breaking Bad cast to do like. Some sort of Super Bowl ad. That'll be cool to see. Those big tooth hand saws. Well, you have to... I'll show you how. Because uh, I couldn't do it for the longest while because I didn't have a file. These fellas. Oh, God. They're called triangular files. Now, you can have big, long, girthy triangular files. This is the one you'd use to sharpen the likes of that fella up there. Do you see him? Just about the way. You know one of the ones you have two boys like that? Let's see if you can sharp something a bit more fine-toothed, like this. You're going to need a nice small triangular file like that. Glad to see some, finally see some good quality pegging on YouTube. I was going to title this peg video Peg or Be Pegged, but it didn't make sense, so I didn't. Instead I titled it Peg Making Entertainment in parentheses. Right, I'll answer a few more questions there, and then I'll um, bounce on on. Callis says he loves pegging. Hello, Clifford, how are you? Ever made a sledgehammer handle? Yes, but I got the grain wrong because it was one of the first handles I ever made. I'd say it's about the place. We'll go find it. We'll go hunt it down. It's also fairly short, you know. <laughs> Favourite drink. I'll probably be ordering Beamish tonight, which is a, an Irish stout. Here she is now. In the sponsored video I was talking about earlier where we make the, the birdhouse, um, there's a clip of myself and the other lad and we're in, we're in sync. There's a slight delay. It sounds good as I'm like bang and then he's like bang. And we're driving two posts into the ground and his one is a bit longer than mine. So, you know, I was tempted to make an extension to that one just out of vanity, but we didn't have time. He had to head back up to the country. Beamish in the Brogue. Who knows? I might end up there tonight. If you send me a hat, I sure I'll wear it in the video. Absolutely. Hello, John, how are you? I'm still talking away. Don't worry, no fear of that. You would never shut me up. Anything I'd want to make but I aren't able to. Yeah, I suppose if uh, if money was no object, I'd build a castle. Or a big timber ship or something. 
I'm on the pints tonight, John. I am. I can't wait. I'm beaming from ear to ear with excitement. I don't know if I'm allowed to show alcohol on screen, but I have it here now. Look, there's the cap. Ready to be just... To be put inside of me. Any war Warhammer fans here in the chat? Never played it myself now, but I have a few friends who uh, think it's quite fun. I think it's interesting. Right, lads. I think I'm going to call it a day there now. Sound for tuning in. And we'll talk to you all in the next one. Thanks for the donations and thanks for the viewing. Shlan.